But I'm though. So I'm at the laundromat. We go to we go to like the Spanish laundromat. Don't judge us, you know. Don't judge me and priest. That's what we do. Look, I'm all broken out and junk. Don't make me stress. So I'm what? I am five weeks pregnant. Five weeks and one day. And the nausea is. I feel queasy sometimes. It's not as bad as it could be, I suppose. It, and I think it's because of the apple cider vinegar. And uh, priests won't let me eat high fructose corn syrup or food starch or corn starch or any type of starches. So if that basically eliminates damn near all food, you know, so it's like all I'm eating is fruits and vegetables and crackers. And he has control over my salt consumption sugar consumption everything um i also have ginger tea and like i said apple cider vinegar so it's not that bad but um do i feel pregnant yet no but um five weeks you're not supposed to feel like that i probably won't feel like it like i'm pregnant until i don't know december right now it is september 17th and I'm about five weeks, so I probably won't start showing until January or February, something like that. And we haven't really told anyone. We're not going to tell anyone until January. So this should be interesting. Oh, I told my mom though, but he doesn't want to tell his family. He's not gonna tell his family until I'm about to start showing. Uh, I told my daughter. <laughs> I look overly pregnant. Like I don't look the average pregnant. You know, this isn't baby right here. You know what this is? Bloating and gas. Yeah. I'm almost 40 and I'm sitting here pregnant. Look at this. Look at this. Hey guys, so for the first time in a long time, I actually feel well enough to get up and walk around. I haven't been able to do that in a very long time. Um, kind of at the park now. Kind of um, just sitting down in the grass. And I, I couldn't walk for a long time. I was pretty much sick, so. Kind of just sitting in the grass right now. Itching a little bit. I don't really be allergic to grass like that, but I've been laying around a lot. Moving slow and we're doing too much anything. You know, while I was sitting here planning on being pregnant, I didn't understand how I would feel. Um, number one, those of you who don't know, I mean, it was just so hard for me to get pregnant to begin with. I mean, this baby is such a blessing, so you know, but. The one thing that's bothering me with this trimester is that I'm fucking tired. Like, tired. I'm falling asleep all of the time. Like, I'm sleepy, okay? I fall asleep at the wheel. I fall asleep in the bed. I fall asleep in a chair. I fall asleep while I'm eating. I am sleep. I'm sleep now, okay? And then... My dreams are so, like, bad. Like, I have, like, vivid dreams. I have nightmares. Sometimes my dreams are very, very, I don't know, just outlandish. And the other times are just really scary to where I wake up and I'm screaming. Or I feel like I was screaming in the dream. And I turn and I'm looking at Priest and he's like, are you okay? Because I don't woke him up. You know, so I think my pregnancy symptoms that have bothered me the most... My nausea is there, but it's just nagging. It's not really to the point where um, it's it's so bad to where I can't eat anything. It's more of I've realized what things I can do in order for me to be able to eat. So the nausea is not that bad. I am at nine weeks and three days now. And I understand why they do the tri first trimester or, or pregnancy by week because each week is different like each week brings something different and this week 
well, week nine is supposed to be the hardest week. And that was actually last week for me. And last week was pretty much, you know, okay. I went through a series of like two weeks where I couldn't do nothing. I was just so bad. It was like my head was hurting. I was like shaking. I couldn't eat anything because I was nauseous. I just didn't feel good. I was just weak and tired and I laid down and that's all I could do. I didn't do any work. I didn't do anything for two weeks, almost three. And that shit drove Priest crazy because Priest is one of those people where he's like hardworking and, you know, I'm hardworking and he's used to me working and making money. So for me not to be doing anything, I think it annoyed him more than anything. I wish he had a little bit more compassion, but you know, sometimes men aren't like that. I don't think he realized, um, you know, what I was going through until recently. And I, and I think, you know, with men, sometimes it takes them actually having like solid proof of a situation. So I think with him, it was like ultrasound. After the ultrasound, I think it kind of hit him a little bit that he was going to be a father. So he's been acting a little better, a little bit compassionate to my symptoms. I don't want to put this little thing. This little thing looks like I'm good on it. You feel okay? No? Okay. Your face look like you don't feel okay. Right now, my biggest thing is that I'm bloating. I'm gassy. I'm a little constipated. I'm so fucking moody. I'm tired, okay? And... I have to keep saying, hey, I'm having an awesome pregnancy. And the more that I speak positive into my life, the more I feel better. So, you know, like I said in the clip before this, like I feel a lot better than I was feeling when I couldn't move. And, you know, so like I said, I'm, I'm nine weeks in three days. Um, I feel OK. I feel just I don't know. Do I feel like mom? Well, of course I feel like mom because I got Dominique. But <laughs> do I feel like new mom yet? No. I feel pregnant, though. I definitely feel pregnant. Like, first trimester pregnant. I cannot wait until second trimester. You hear me? Like, I cannot wait till it comes. Because when it comes, that means all of this extra stuff is going to be gone. And I can just enjoy the baby. Now, here's the thing. People ask me what's the gender people ask me can i feel it you know it's funny i started feeling the baby <clears throat> excuse me i started feeling the baby at like i think eight weeks you start feeling like flutters not really kicks but like a flutter if you know your body you know when the baby moves it's like a little slight flutter you know so that's what it feels like at first and it's not really gas I know what my gas feels like, and I know what a, a, a flutter in my uterus feels like. You know, I know where my stomach is. I know where, you know, so um, I start feeling him around eight, nine weeks. Um, he's very active, but I don't really feel as much of what he's doing all of the time. You know what I mean? Because sometimes I'm just not paying attention. If I'm still or if I'm laying down, I can feel him. But if I'm moving around, I, I don't feel, feel him at all. Um, but... Yeah, he's, he's there and uh, chilling. <laughs> I actually have a high-risk pregnancy. Um, I just want to stay positive, you know, because my biggest worry is miscarriage, stillbirth. Um, I worry about that. Um, but at the end of the day, as long as he's healthy... I think, and as long as I stay positive and stress-free, I should be fine. I can't work as much, so that's why I decided to start a fund. Um, I actually deleted the fund. It was like a Facebook fund, and I just don't like doing that. Uh, PayPal is better, or Cash App. So I'm going to put the Cash App information in my comment section and the PayPal information for those people who do want to donate. Um, I just... I try to ask for help when I need it, you know, and I, I just want to make sure that my baby is healthy. That's it. So I'm going to need all kinds of just stuff, you know, and all that stuff is going to cost money. And 
I'll get into details about that. So, but I just want to let you guys know where I stand at nine weeks and three days. I'll give you guys an update later on. Okay. I appreciate you watching. Have vision and stay focused. Namaste.